now, music lovers, Mr. George Byrne. Thank you. Good. Nice. Love it. Want you to sit back and relax because you're in for a very, very exciting evening. I'm going to sing. <laughs> Eight songs. And if you like them, I'll sing nine. <laughs> if you don't like them, I'll sing 38. <laughs> All ballads. I'll sing them slow and sustain the last notes. Nelson and Mikey. Down in the garden where the red roses grow. Oh my, I want to go. Lock me like a flower, cut me an hour. Love me, let me learn that red rose rag. Boom, boom, boom. Red leaves are falling in the rosy romance. Bees hum, come, now's your chance. Don't go hunting possums, mingle with the. Hold it, hold it, I think I'm gonna have a little trouble. What, uh, what is it, Carol? Oh, it's nothing, George. You go right ahead. I don't want to interrupt your song. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna stand here while I sing? Well, I promise I won't move a muscle. I won't breathe. You, you just ignore me. <laughs> that would be kind of hard to do. Well, what is it? Well, as a matter of fact, you really want to know? Yes, I want to know, sure. Well, I've been thinking. Yeah. And I got to thinking, George, that the name of this show is One More, One more Time. time. That's, That's right. right. And that means that any classic show business routine should be repeated One More, One more time. time. That's, That's right. Yes. That's right. Makes sense. Well, I saw you and Gracie at the palace do a doctor's routine. Yeah. You know, at the old palace theater? Oh, yes. And it made such a memorable impression on me, I saw it seven times. Seven times. Seven times. Do you, do you, do you know it? Oh, yes, well, I let's, know. I couldn't let's, forget so, it. Let's do it. You mean do it now? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't do that. Why not? Oh, well, Gracie's character on stage, well, she was sort of wide-eyed, you know, and silly. I mean, she acted kind of fey and vague, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just not that tight. Well, I'm sure a great actress like you can do it. Well, it'd be pretty difficult. Well, try. try. Well, try. Yeah. Just for you, I try. All right, I All right, I Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, well, Carol, say hello to everybody. Hello. <laughs> What, um, what did you do today? As a matter of fact, I took my girlfriend to the doctor's office. Mm -hmm. And while I was there, somebody told a joke and had everybody dying laughing. Well, that's all there. That's it's you a great hear? audience. Sure, right. I'd love to hear it. All right. You want to hear a joke? Well, this one fellow said to the other fellow, well, if you think she's something, wait till you see her sister. She's coming with pineapples. <laughs> That is that is that the whole joke? Well, there were some things that they said ahead of it that I didn't hear, but that was the part that had everybody dying, dying laughing. Right. <laughs> well, I must remember that. I'll be a riot at the barber shop. Well then, George, this might be interesting. While I was in the doctor's office, I read a newspaper. Oh. And it had the latest census report on the visitors to Los Angeles. Oh. Yeah. And you know, you people don't look tired and worn out to me. Why, why should they look tired and worn out? Well, right at the top of the census report, it said, visitors to Los Angeles broken down by age and sex. <laughs> Carol, I, I don't think you understand what that means. Oh, I certainly do. I've known about the birds and the bees all my life. Glad to hear that. When I was a very little girl, my mother told me, you know, how the bees carry pollen well, from flower to flower on their feet. Well, let's do. They, 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 they do carry pollen on their feet. Well, maybe they do, but I tried it, and believe me, George, it's nothing. <laughs> found out I was just ready to take my shoes off. Oh, no. Oh, and then, George, there was this lady, and she had just a little bitty six-month-old baby, baby yeah. with her, uh, and she was worried because he couldn't hold on to his food. His baby couldn't hold on to his food. Couldn't. The baby could not, baby no. Could not. And, and so I told her, I said, well, give him a live lobster. <laughs> give the baby a live lobster? Well, certainly. If he can't hold on to his food, why not get food that so can hold, hold on, on to him? him? <laughs> Else 
this happen in the doctor's office? Well, it, it did. Yeah. How did you know? I did this routine before. Oh. <laughs> Matter of fact, something else happened. Oh, what happened? And uh, what happened was that the lady... A lady? A lady sitting next to me. Yeah? Yes. Well, she told me that she sprained her back playing tennis. And she said that she hadn't held a racket in her hand for over two years. So I said, well, my goodness, where have you been holding it? <laughs> Carol, I think that's the end of the routine. And if it isn't, it should be. This is, this is where Gracie and I used to do a sand dance. Well, George, I didn't memorize a sand dance. Well, Carol, then we haven't got to finish. No, we haven't, have we? Wait a minute, I got an idea. Nelson, keep playing the vamp to the sand dance. Dee doo, dee doo, sand doo dee doo. We haven't got a finish. What'll we do? We haven't got a finish. What'll we do? Dee doo, 